Okay, I'm going to show you how to level track here. And what you do is, you loosen your screws a little bit. We've, we, we've tightened them down to tighten the uh, cork down so that it sticks where it needs to be. And basically what you do is you mark out your cork. I've done loads of cork videos. Put the track where it needs to be. Make sure the fish plates are buttered up and now you level it. And all you do, I'll try not to block it too much, is you put a washer under there. And there we are, it's level. Move, the, move it along, it's still level. It's a little bit out just there. So all you do is, remember, you're not using tacks, you're using screws. And the great thing about screws is, you can adjust the height of your track. Because remember, the ballast and the PVA is holding the the, the, glue, the screws are really just a guide to hold it down, that's better. And by adjusting your screws on the cork, I mean that's miles out, God almighty. But that could be where I've tightened it out. So I loosen it a little bit. God, it's like a ship of the ocean. It's like an ocean swell. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was. So where, at the worst part, you put a washer in underneath the underneath there you go and if you put a washer in at the worst part nine times out of ten it will sort the rest out okay here is the track laid with the cork and you may be able to see there's a couple of small washers one mil here so we've got the track totally level I don't know if you can see from there but it is totally level if I push this along and you will see the bubble does not move and here as well can't really reach across but everything is dead dead level dead level everything everything is dead level in fact the point we didn't have to do anything to which is a miracle but everything is dead 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 level and it has to be, it's no good thinking, oh it hasn't got to be spot on because it's a siding. But what will happen with your siding is, your small locos will stop on your points. And I'll just show you here, it's level. If you can see, dead dead level. Here, dead dead level. If I can zoom in a little bit. It's difficult to film this. But it is all dead level, all along. The whole track, it's all level. All dead level. The points, the whole lot. And what will happen is, if you do not have your track dead level, your small locos will stop on those points. Then what you will do is you will go on social media and type in loco stops on points, and some fine expert not will say to you, it's your insole frog points. You've got to do this, do that, do the other. When in fact, all you need is a spirit level that's a couple of quid, a few penny washers, just to make sure your track is level. Because these engines do not have suspension. If I bring a small loco in, nice slow speed, and you will see it runs as it should. Stop it. I don't know if this point will still work because it's being worked on. Yes, it will. And I'll bring another small loco in. Nice and slow. And you can see these are insole frog points. And it's all about just making sure your track is level. And we bring it back the other way. And you can see. Now the screws I've used, reuse them.
We've used the, the, the one mil washers as shims. And you can see that is absolutely perfect. And as I say, if you've got your points level and your track level, your locos will run correctly. And these are tiny, tiny locos. Thank you. As I said, we did this so we could put top link locos in. And here's a Merchant Navy class. And it's just so much smoother coming in here because it's just taking the heat out of that radius 2 bend. And you can see there there's plenty of room. To check in the points. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring back Oliver Cromwell to where Oliver Cromwell lives. And we'll see if there's room, because that was the idea. Now there was no room for Oliver Cromwell here before. And you can see there, and we'll change that and we'll see if the other loco can come out. And you can see we have succeeded. We have succeeded. Oliver Cromwell is a large engine. And it goes in, oh, my driving's not the best, and it goes in. So we've, we've set out what we've set out to achieve. And you can see with the other siding, that was going to be a little bit more difficult. But what is always worth doing, as a point of interest, is to put, what, put, put one back in the other siding. Because I'm running an O-gauge transformer, I can run to just to see if it works the other way. So we don't want to, we don't want that to smash against it. Change that. Run one loco, and you can see. And obviously, bring Oliver Cromwell out, and there's plenty of room. in the other siding, loads of room. But you can see there we've done what we've set out to achieve. What we wanted to do was we wanted to have top link locos, three of them in that siding. I'm not saying we have to do it, but we've done it so that we can do it. And we're quite pleased with that. And the amazing thing is, is the way that you can, with the space you've got, what we've managed to achieve is we've managed to inc get more space from less space if that makes sense because before we had like that a radius 2 curve point it's now a streamline point we have a streamline point here so you can actually see that that's taking up more space than that point motors in the same place which was easy. That point motor we just moved across. So in the same area, we've got space for three low, top link locos, whereas before all we had space for was one. All we could fit in there was a class 37 there and a class 8F. Anything large wouldn't go, which to me is Ridiculous really, because you would I would not have thought, being brutally honest, that I could have done that. And we have, and the improvement you can see just with that little test is phenomenal. But as I stress, the most important thing is to make sure your track is level. Even on the points, if it's not level, you can cause your tender to derail if they're not level, because it's twisting on the loco. It's not just for small locos, it's for all locos. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you.